Hey, this is Jeff at Battlefish again, and uh, we've got another tarpon video here on the mullet run in St. John's River. So, if you missed my previous video, which is day one, it's not titled day one, but uh, it'll be day one. Um, take a look at that, and then uh, this is day two and three. And it's raining, love the rain because it's nice and cool, it's not hot, and I'm the only one on the river. So after almost six months of using LiveScope, I'm still learning how to recognize fish versus things like a manatee. So this area is anywhere from River Oaks Park and Craig Creek all the way to downtown Jacksonville uh, along the San Marco area. I believe that these mullets spook themselves a lot of times. A lot of the mullet jumping and chaos, I did not see any tarpon underneath or even near them. And again, using LiveScope, and if you haven't uh, seen some of my videos, go back and take a look at my LiveScope videos. I've got quite a few chasing redfish, and the great thing about LiveScope is you don't have to cast until you see fish. So it really cuts down on the uh, casting. So it looks like I finally hooked one, and I've got them hooked good, and I'm walking them out to open water. I've got a circle stinger hook tied with some 50 pound braid to the hook of the Crazy Croaker, and it's about two inches long. So I don't know if he's hooked on that or hooked on the Crazy Croaker hook. So you'll see the line start to rise in the water, that's when you're supposed to point the rod at the fish, which I did, and I did not have the drag particularly tight.
This is a live scope recording of the mullet. You can see just huge schools of mullet and a tarpon swimming right in the middle of the school to the left there where the arrow's pointing. The evenly spaced white dots to the left is a long dock. And there's another tarpon swimming to the left of that dock. I'm only guessing, but I'd say in the three days so far that I've fished the mullet run, I've probably seen 50 or 60 tarpon, probably thrown at 20 of them, and got some follow-ups and hooked up seven times, seven or eight times, something like that. It's extremely, extremely difficult to throw at these fish, even when you see them on live scope. I can tell you this, if you decide to go with live scope or some sort of forward facing sonar, you have to practice casting. You have to get very, very, very good at casting, that you can hit a circle, a three foot circle at 60, 70 feet, and at 20 feet, and at 40 feet. So I noticed a couple things about braid. Uh, it does get worn out. Um, I fish a lot, I fish every day. So uh, the line. section of line that I'm casting does get some fray to it. Uh, I had to take off, you know, 40, 50, 60 feet of line and toss it away because it gets frayed. And apparently uh, that's what maybe happened here. So here's a good example of an accurate cast. Oh, there's one straight ahead. To the right. He sees it. He sees it. He's chasing it. <laughs> yeah, he came off. Oh man! I got my bait great. back though. Huh? I thought he was heading for the dock, but he went out. He went out. Wow! Oh, how come? Even though these swim baits, it's difficult to hook a tarpon and keep them hooked. The bite is worth it. It's a top water looking bite. The bait travels maybe 12 inches below the surface and you're only in a couple feet of water. Um, so the bite is, is very exciting. So I'm fishing with Ron from Salt Strong. He's fished with me before. We're trying to get him hooked up to a tarpon. They just appear sometimes in front of you and uh, you get one shot. And I can tell you this, you have to be extremely accurate with your casting, both direction and distance. It's an outgoing tide and we're traveling about one and a half to two miles an hour. Trolling motor's on about 50% power. Uh, scope in the area with live scope. So one of the tricks is being able to stop the boat from moving. Uh, the tide is going out. So you've got to cast in a direction that when your bait passes in front of the fish, it's not past them because the tide's moved it. So you got to calculate all that, and then there's wind if there's wind. There wasn't any wind today, but uh, if there's wind, yeah, you got to come right up that. So oh, it is a is. lot more difficult than uh, you Go. think. Oh, get off. How did you get off? So I'll be at it again Monday. So again, thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. There's a lot more to come. Thanks. <laughs> what do I got to do? I don't know why you got on here. It's <laughs>